Hey beautiful friends, come check out what I got for under $200 at the thrift stores in my local area. I'm super excited. Some of these items will be um, for upcycling and some I will be coming to sell on the whatnot platform and other platforms as well. So without further ado, let's get started on the haul. We've got this really gorgeous throw, vintage throw. We've got another really gorgeous vintage blanket. Really, really huge, humongous. Um, this, these are gonna, I'm gonna upcycle, um, I'm gonna upcycle some of these for jackets and other sorts of things. We've got some vintage fabric, which I'm super excited about right here. We've got this really nice light print. We've got this really gorgeous print. Um, <clears throat> some more vintage fabric right here. <clears throat> Vintage Shams, which I really, I absolutely adore this fabric color. So I'm going to upcycle these. Um, there's a, there are two of them. I think there's, there's the top and then there's the bottom. Um, we got some more fabric. <laughs> we got some more fabric here. Um, some like Christmas. Christmassy fabric. This is definitely vintage fabric and I thought this was super cool. Definitely kind of like a unique pattern. I definitely gonna upcycle that. Um, there's a lot of fabric. <laughs> um, and if you do want custom pieces, you can talk to me about that. These um, towels have definitely seen better days, but I'm going to um, fix them up and look at, we've got Pokemon and Pikachu. I'm thinking about like making a bag out of this or some sort of, you know, some sort of bag or something. We've got, oh, this is absolutely stunning. This little, like, 3D piece. Again, I can, we can make a little jacket out of that. Um, definitely gonna upcycle that. Um, and then I got these really cool, um, like, placemats. I'm gonna do something with them. Um, but, but they're all, like, beautiful, crocheted, vintage. Um, we've got, Another towel that um, I need to fabric shave, but it's like all of the Disney characters on there. Again, another like bag or something I can make. Um, this I might make a jacket out of. It's got it's got a cheetah on it, and it's again this really cool like like event vintage vintage aesthetics, and then we've got. This vintage fabric, just so much vintage fabric today. Um, oh, we've got this little number here. I thought this was cute and it came with two little squares. Um, so again, some gorgeous pieces here. We've got a throw rug. This does need a little bit of fabric shaving, but it's so gorgeous. Um, definitely going to be upcycling um, this piece here. Um, We've got another one, another um, throw. This one is another vintage piece and it's got all these cute little teddy bears. Fringe on the back, definitely make, make a jacket out of that. Um, it needs to be fabric shaved. So that was like literally just one bin. We have another bin and two bags. Um, so there's some clothing that I did um, source. We've got this really cool little corduroy skirt this really cool corduroy skirt um we've got this um beautiful um another skirt another corduroy skirt um again i'm gonna be upcycling those um we've got this jacket i'm going to use the structure of this jacket to make another jacket and um i'm gonna probably remove the arms Something to that effect and put new buttons on it. Um, and I don't know about the collar. Uh, we got another jacket. Um, I really love just like the color on this. And this is another vintage piece. This is Habit Clothes. Um, another vintage piece. And again, I might like steal 
the sleeves off of it and put different sleeves on this and buttons. Uh, we got some vintage fabrics here. Um, this one is absolutely stunning. Love this vintage fabric. Um, and then we've got this one. It has so much like lace on it. That's why I bought it. I think it's a tablecloth. Yeah, I think it's a tablecloth. Um, just a lot of fabric in that one. Um, and we're going to continue on. So this one's like, um, I think these were shams or something initially, but some vintage shams. And uh, I got it solely for like this little piece here because I really like that. But we, I might do something else with the quilted part. Um, there is some staining, I think, on some of these things I have to remove. Um, so we've got that. Um, oh, we've got some bags too. We've got um, brand new the tag Vera Bradley. We've got this really cool. This one is made. It says made in China. It does have a crossbody strap, which it does look like an animal chewed on, but you don't have to use the crossbody if you don't want to. Um, I may upcycle this. Um, or just like remove the strap and get a new strap. But we've got that one. Um, some more vintage linens. Like look at how gorgeous that is. Um, oh, we got some bags here. Some more bags. We've got this cute little boho bag. And then this cute little one here. I didn't even check the inside to see if there's any staining. But this one's a cute little knapsack. Um, oh, we got really cute little vintage lacy gloves. Not sure what I'm going to do with these yet, but I saw them and they were only a dollar. So I was like, okay, let's grab these and see what we can do with that. Um, I did grab this scarf. It does have like a little pull on it. Um, but I'm going to definitely like make, let's make a top out of it. Um, some more Vera Bradley, some more Vera Bradley, uh, these vintage um, bed skirts and the bit the bed skirt does have stains on it but again I grabbed it solely for this right here for this piece the rest of it I may use for like to, like for another project but I initially uh, grabbed it literally just for this fabric here um we're not even done yet we're not even done yet so many cool things um so I got this guy, this jacket. Um, it does need a little fabric shaving, but for the price, it was just amazing. Um, these, both of these have staining on it, so I do have to clean it, but I thought that they, I love the print on it, and I thought they were really unique. Um, I got this at a different location. Um, here's another. But I absolutely love, love, love these. Um, the pattern is so gorgeous and I'm going to try to get the stains out of it. Um, we do have some bags. I got some bags here. Um, again, like I just thought these cute little bohemian bags. We got one there. We got this little one. Um, and we got some clothing here. <laughs> Finally some clothing. We've got this really cute little skirt. Um, We've got this. I bought this solely because it was really expensive. And I got it for less than $2. Tahari by author Levine. And this is really beautiful blazer. Um, absolutely stunning. Uh, the retail on that is, is extremely high. Um, I got this vintage blazer for a steal of a deal. Um, and I believe it is wool. Yeah, I believe it is wool. Made in Guatemala. And um, I do believe it's wool. But, yeah, this is what she looks like. Absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning on that. Um, what else? Okay, we've got... I got this skirt because I just wanted to upcycle the fabric. But it is absolutely a gorgeous skirt. Um, I got this dress because I do and I want to upcycle the fabric the dress is extremely too small 
so I was thinking of doing something. It has this really cool, like, I don't know if you can see that, that little design there. Um, I got this top to upcycle the fabric. Um, but look at how cute that is. That, that, like, texture. Okay, another really amazing piece here. Um, it's all, like, fully sequenced. All fully sequenced on that one. Um, but we've got this piece. Uh, this one does have some call-outs on it. But, again, for the price and what I thought, think I'm going to be doing with it, um, it's absolutely stunning. Look at that. Absolutely stunning. Love, love, love this piece. Um, and then I got this piece because I liked it. And it's brand new. <laughs> and it's brand new with the tags. Um, it's a handcrafted, handcrafted, uh, little kimono what else do we get um zara faux leather pants new without the tag they're high-waisted faux leather pants freaking stunning um we've got this really cool um vintage style vest um i picked it up because it looked like they had a little mannequin there and it was all dressed i was like we gotta we gotta um de-dress this mannequin so I also got the shirt and that I had that skirt already used I saw and then I also grabbed this skirt because it's another nice brand and tailor and I'm thinking about um what I can do to upcycle that on some more plain plainer pieces this dress absolutely gorgeous dress um again this is this is target but for the price that I got this for, I was like, you can't beat that. Um, maybe I'll take a look, maybe I won't. This is a really cool um, vintage in sport um, jacket. <laughs> you will not believe what I paid for this. Um, crazy price on that. Uh, we're not even finished, we're not even to the bottom yet. I got this skirt here, literally just for the fabric. Look at how gorgeous that fabric is. Um, I'm gonna just take it apart, <laughs> probably. Um, this one I also got for the fabric, it is vintage. And again, you will not believe the prices that I paid for these. Amazing, amazing, amazing uh, pieces. Um, another one here, another vintage piece. Beautiful dress, love the floral ditzy pattern. And again, you can't, unbeatable prices. Um, I got this one literally for the poofy sleeves because I'm going to use these sleeves in an upcycle and I might use the bodice for something else. Um, and then this is another vintage 100% wool skirt. Um, I, yeah, I did see some. There's some moth holes. But again, I'm just using the fabric on this one. Um, oh. Then there's this two-piece. <laughs> this is a very expensive two-piece. Tahari Author Levine Luxury, the luxury line, and it's this top, um, and then it's also this, this bottom. It's a two-piece. So again, may upcycle it. Um, I plan for it. And then last but not least, I thought that this was really cool. It's the brand, uh, I think, Denali. And it's got cute little mooses, very fall, very winter. Um, reminds me of Alaska, and it's this really beautiful jacket, and it's got these cute, like, leather buttons. So that was my haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, and um, if you want more content, feel free to follow and subscribe and drop a little comment below. Um, you might see some of these patterns and styles on whatnot. So go check it out. I will be doing more upcycling as my pregnancy does progress. Um, and I hope to see you guys soon. All right. Bye.